Hey guys, Chris from Blu-ray Critic is back again doing an unboxing on a classic Jim Carrey film called The Cable Guy, also co-starring Matthew Broderick. This is the 15th anniversary edition. And this film was released back in 1996, and it's really hard to believe it's been that long. But it's a really underrated classic, and a lot of people just didn't like this one for some reason. Had a lot of mixed reviews, because folks thought usually it's going to be one of those typical Jim Carrey films, you know, like he does in... Uh, Dumb and Dumber, H. Ventura, Pet Detective, that slapstick humor, but it was very different, but uh, very enjoyable. This is one of my favorite Jim Carrey films alongside Liar Liar, uh, Dumb and Dumber, and H. Ventura. But definitely give this one a try. It's about Jim Carrey, who's a cable guy worker, and he's installing cable service for Matthew Broderick. But he's kind of a loner, you know, he's never really had friends in his life. And uh, he likes Matthew Broderick's character, he just doesn't want to uh, leave him alone. He becomes this annoying weasel. And the story takes off from there. I just don't want to give away too much, but definitely check this one out if you haven't done so. And this comes with a number of great special features. You get a great commentary with uh, director Ben Stiller. And that's uh, pretty shocking to a lot of people, too, that Ben Stiller actually directed this film. And folks were saying also that how come Ben Stiller didn't play uh, Matthew Broderick's uh, character? But keep in mind, this film was released in 1996, and Ben Stiller wasn't really that famous at the time. He did, he did a couple of comedy films, but he wasn't well known to the general audience. So uh, this is also produced by Judd Apatow, which is interesting. But definitely give that commentary uh, a try with Judd Apatow, Jim Carrey, and Ben Stiller. You also get a number of other features, such as deleted and extended scenes. You get a Comedy Central special feature, Leave Me Alone music video, HBO First Look, and much, much more. Picture quality for this film is about a 4 out of 5. It's not great, and it's not bad, so it's about a 4 out of 5. So here's the disc itself. Get a lot of artwork from the film in the background. Nice still shots there. So definitely give this film a try. You can get this for a really good deal either on uh, Amazon, or you could get it used on eBay, or even buy it brand new. So definitely check it out. Thanks for checking out this unboxing, and I'll see you guys soon in one of my next reviews. Take care.